Okay, so. um, today's video is going to be about the problem with GTRP servers and my experiences and any advice I can give to other servers trying to grow or who genuinely want to do it. So my advice probably upon making a server or starting a server is you want to start it with your mates. Um, but that can sort of end your friendship if you want the server to do well because I've started servers with my mates before and they've used it as a way to mess about stuff like that and the server just not got anywhere because maybe the person you started it with abused their power and you're in a position when you can't punish that person because you don't want to ruin your friendship or something like that so that's one of the problems another problem is um, actually relying on your staff even if you've got haven't gotten any because once you start relying on your staff to do things for you you become lazy um, I've become lazy a bit from doing that but obviously it's not like I didn't do any trainings or interviews or anything like that it's that I was trying to do other things more than other other things if that makes sense I was trying to promote and try and get the interviews and trainings to happen and constantly tell people and I think that was the main reason for DOUJ ending I'm not sure what the people are doing with it, um, who actually owns it, but I'm definitely probably not going to go back to it. Depending on what I actually want to do in the future, but at the moment I want to try and focus on my YouTube, focused on trying to get somewhere because it's done extremely well throughout the past about month. It's gained loads of subscribers, my watch time's gone up, everything's gone really well, so I definitely want to carry on with it, but I also want to carry on with other things as well, obviously. So. I'd say if you want your server to do well and you really want to get it somewhere the best thing you probably could do is start it by yourself run everything for a long time by yourself until you really know because trusting people sounds like the most easiest thing and in my servers I wasn't I, w I knew what I was bad at and I knew what I was good at in the server but some people they wanted to be good at everything and they wanted all the roles so they could show off even if they said that they didn't want it to show off, they just wanted to start the server, you could tell. Um, like, for instance, I know that in the servers I ran, I was never good at like dealing with people, like messing about, dealing with fail RP, stuff like that, as I'm not really a confrontational sort of guy. I'm trying to stay neutral, but I was quite good in a server at promoting it, getting members, developing it, trying to make it more interesting, stuff like that. I knew what I was good at and I knew what I was bad at. But the problem was, when you ask someone what they were good at and what someone else was bad at, you wouldn't know. They wouldn't tell you because they want you to think they're perfect. But it's just a lot harder to run a server now that everyone's trying to be perfect in this whole GTA RP Discord scene. I've been running a lot of servers before. I also think that running a server you have to be extremely active if you actually want your server to get somewhere you have to be able to put money into that server and to be active for about six months before actually you can rely on people because you don't know who you can actually trust and i think that's a big part of it um that's just my general opinions if you guys want me to go more in depth and explain my experiences in the past if you want me to focus on a certain area or show you how you can i don't know improve your members or whatever that um if you comment in the description what you want to see me do next i would definitely do that but this is no way a hate video this is just what i think of the whole gta and starting your own server thing so you don't have to like you don't have to subscribe just do what you want to do it's 2020 in a bit